Hey, what's up, everybody? We are on CoinWorld.com, and I'm going to be sharing with you an article from Paul Gilks that is explaining some legislation that has been proposed. That's right, proposed, not yet passed, and not only has this legislation not have been passed for these commemorative coins honoring the 250th anniversary of the United States Marine Corps, but it wouldn't even be for a couple of years yet. But let's take a look at this. If you don't mind, please hit the thumbs up button on the video and definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This says, Bill seeks coins honoring U.S. Marine Corps anniversary. Now, I'm not a big commemorative coin collector. In fact, I purchased my very first commemorative coin from the United States in 2022. The United States Mint has already released over the last couple of years Armed Forces Silver Medals, two and a half ounce and one ounce. And I have not purchased any of those because I'm not the biggest fan of medals. However, this one I would probably consider if this legislation actually does get passed because these will not be medals, but these will be coins. So pretty cool. The United States Marine Corps was founded on November 10th, 1775. Legislation has been introduced for a commemorative coin program for the 250th anniversary in 2025. So 2025, a couple of years to wait if this legislation does actually get passed. Separate linked pieces of legislation were introduced November 16th in the House and Senate seeking a three coin commemorative coin program to mark November 10th, 2025, 250th anniversary of the United States Marine Corps. Senator Richard Blumenthal, Democrat Connecticut, introduced S-5112 in the Senate with H.R. 9316 introduced in the House by Rep. Seth Moulton, Democrat Massachusetts. Both pieces of legislation seek proof and uncirculated versions of the $5 gold, a silver dollar, and a copper nickel clad half dollar. The $5 coin would be struck with a composition not less than 90% gold with a maximum mintage across all product options of 50,000 coins. Each gold coin would carry a $35 surcharge in its price from the mint. The dollar would contain not less than 90% silver with a mintage across all product options of 400,000 coins, each with a $10 surcharge. The half dollar would be struck with a maximum release of 750,000 coins, each with a surcharge of $5. The net surcharge after the United States may recoup all of its production and associated costs would be paid to the Marine Corps Heritage Center in Virginia to support its educational mission. Construction of the center was authorized by Congress in 2000. The center opened its doors to the public November 10, 2006, with exhibits that share history of the Marine Corps from 1775 until 1975, and with planned future exhibits to capture modern-day Marine Corps history from the end of Vietnam War through the war in Iraq and Afghanistan. Let me know what you think in the comment section below if this legislation actually is passed and is going to be on the United States Mint product schedule in 2025. Are any of these coins something you would consider purchasing? I would definitely be considering picking up the one ounce silver coin if this actually does get passed. And as always, anybody who is active duty or veterans of any of our United States Armed Forces, I thank you for your service. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I appreciate everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.